Good morning, chaps. I don't really have time, but I'm sick to death of tripping over that goddamn stock metal on the floor and all that timber. All that timber does not fit into my timber rack because it's too long. So today I'm going to spend an hour and a half, maybe two hours this morning, and I'm going to blast out a basic wall mounted stock storage rack essentially. We're going to put it on that wall. We have that brick pillar to contend with that brings everything forwards. So what I'm hoping to do is start at that end and have the rack running from that across this way and I might just move my original storage rack so it's not fouling. Well we'll see. I really don't know what I'm going to do. But first of all, I need to measure that I've got these six metre lengths of stock on the floor are going to fit against that wall somehow. And then we'll build a rack around that. So what I'm kind of thinking is because we have basically a wall, a brick pillar jutting out on the wall. It means that any racking that I put up is going to sort of have to stick out past that brick pillar in order for me to lay the pieces of steel or timber on it. I think the timber will fit there actually, but the steel won't. So, the plan is we make the rack like this to bolt on the wall. This is the wall here. This is the brick wall. And the rack sticks out the most on the bottom because then it's got all this to put studs in to bear the weight and then that is where the steel lives along the bottom we can run the steel on that and we have another one down here a long one on the bottom and then the top ones are smaller to carry timber like that and all we have to do is maybe do two long ones on the bottom they can be pretty close together because I don't carry a lot of steel stock and then these timber ones on the top can carry all the wood. So hopefully that stick out will allow me on the longer lengths to miss the wall in the centre. God, can't you tell I'm an art student? Not. Nah. You get the idea anyway. Let's just build it. Gurgling a butty. I think Stuart's trying to fat milk for Christmas. That night, for the story goes that the bears barely failed at all. Oh, I see tomorrow the man on his tread, soaking bears' blood with three seven. Fucking bollock dropped. 
I'm glad I noticed it before I welded them all up. I've only got four to grind off and all the tacks. But check what I've done. Can you spot the mistake? I think you probably can. They're the fixing holes. They're the bars. I've welded it onto the wrong side of the friggin' angle. Right. Let's zip the grinder out. I must say though, some of them welds were pretty good. <laughs> I've got to chop them off. That night, for the story goes that the bears barely fared at all. Oh, I see tomorrow the man on his tread, soaking bears blood with three severed heads. Three severed. So I've spent a couple of hours tidying up. As you can see, it looks pretty good, I must admit. That's really got a lot of that junk off the floor. So all I'm doing now is just moving everything out and vacuuming up against the wall in the corners and uh, checking the bait stations that I've got in various locations uh, around the brewery. Because this time of the year is when all the rodents will be coming inside to get out of the cold. I know today is quite a warm day, but they will be coming in. So I can pop this open and see that so far, so good. Nothing nibbled my blocks. That means uh, we've got nothing in here, or they've got better food to eat than bait. No, I'm, on, I'm only kidding. They've actually got... Uh, there's no damage to any of these bags at all. Everything's looking pretty good and everything that's pretty much opened that can fit in a uh, bucket is pretty much up top there in all these buckets that I picked up. You may remember a couple of months back. So I'm just going to bring across the timber now and I'm going to stand it in this corner instead of having another pallet laid there and knock off a lot of the dust as well. That timber, that timber just up there. Can you, can you see it? So we're gonna bring that down. I'll stack it and stand it in that corner. And then we'll see how I feel, cause I'm bloody knackered already. You got me some at you? Yeah, this is really heavy, quick, take it from me. Oh, they're the light bulbs. Now it's heavy. Right then, that means, oh, that means I can get the lights up next door then. Wow, they're LEDs, it stands for light emitting diode, so they're, they're obviously really light. <laughs> eh? <laughs> well, I'm pretty happy with it, I don't know what you think. 
Oh, it's been a long day. It's about seven o'clock already. I'm always complaining. I know, I shouldn't be. I am actually enjoying the build. Um, I'm enjoying the variety of different projects that I'm taking on at the same time. I do want to do a little bit of brewing next week, uh, hence the tidying up in the brewery today. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been a productive day all round, I think. Uh, I've just got a few more lights to fit and one or two hooks to buy to put up the last chandelier kind of thing, if you like. And then I've also got some bottles to cut using uh, boiling water and ice. See if I can make a gin bottle chandelier to go above the stairs and uh, install, did I mention the last few lights on the wall over there, like where we took the, uh, don't know if you can see it on the end just there, where we took the up lighters down, I didn't like them, so we're going to put industrial outdoor wall lights on, I, I really prefer the look of them. So I'm going to call it a day today, um, Gemma's at home, I could give her a ring but I actually fancy a walk, so I'm just going to go and wash my hands. And uh, I'm going to walk the three quarters of a mile home. I think it's a lovely warm evening, so why not? You know what, folks? That's done me the absolute world of good, that walk home. Yeah, I feel uh, refreshed and focused. Nothing but me and my thoughts for a leisurely stroll in the evening. And it's beautiful as well. Well, it looks like I've got home and there's nobody here. And the trouble is, Gemma's actually taken my key. For its sakes. They've arrived home to let me in. I've been sat here like I'm begging for change. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.